Hello! <laughs> this box is too big. Hello! Welcome or welcome back to Classes with a Quirk, where we talk about contemporary and luxury designer items and brands with a touch of silliness. This is the kind of content you find interesting. Please do like this video and subscribe for more of it. Thank you. Hello! I have a bit of an unboxing today, and as you can probably tell, it is kind of a big box. This box is also all the way from Japan, which is very exciting. I've talked about this before on my channel, but I use a Japanese proxy service called Baiyi to purchase a lot of pre-loved luxury items from Japan. This portion of the video is actually sponsored by Baiyi, which is super cool because I do use them. I actually made an entire video about how to use Baiyi and different search terms that you can use in Japanese that'll help you navigate the online website. But you also can use programs like Google Translate in order to better help you navigate the website. Baiyi allows people who are not from Japan to access certain websites like Yahoo Auctions or Japanese eBay, as well as Japanese Mercari and other platforms that they can purchase items from Japanese sellers. A quick note is that Baiyi does not authenticate items and they do not guarantee authenticity. However, Japan does have some very severe strict rules about companies selling inauthentic pieces, so I do tend to trust Japanese sellers more than I sometimes trust non-Japanese sellers. That being said, if you ever purchase an item and then get it authenticated by a third party once it's in your possession and you find out that it is not a real item, there are steps that you can take in order to deal with that. I think Baiyi is an excellent service, so not only is it a way to find rarer items sometimes that you might not be able to get in your home country, but it also gets you access to a lot of deals because items are usually priced less expensive on Baiyi, and the Japanese yen is a little bit weaker right now, so it's a good time to buy from Japan if you're interested. Thank you again to Baiyi for sponsoring this portion of the video, and let's get into unboxing. Now, this box is very big, so I'm going to have to figure out how to maneuver it in order to best unbox it, but I purchased a couple of items this time, and I I went on to buy ye with one specific thing in mind. Like, I was searching one specific item, and then I found another one by accident, and this was also an item that I'd been looking at for a really long time. You know what? Let's do story time after we unbox this, shall we? Let's just, just, just open up the package. Okay, so... It's really well packaged and it came to me very quickly. I mean, considering that it was coming from Japan, I purchased the items, the auctions ended, uh, and then once the auctions ended, they were sent to the Baiyi warehouse. And then I was notified once they were received at the Baiyi warehouse, and then I picked my shipping option. You do have to pay for shipping separately. And so shipping for this was about $90, all things totaled up about $90 to ship this entire box to me from Japan. And that was partially because I had consolidated the items because I did say, I think, that I purchased more than one thing. Okay. All right, let's open this up and, oh boy, big box, big box full of bubble wrap. Okay, let's just, I'm gonna just set the box down and let's do this one at a time. My cat is going to have a bonanza in this box when I'm done with it. Lots of bubble wrap. Very well packaged, very well protected, which I appreciate. Lots of bubble wrap, oh my gosh. A mountain of bubble wrap. Okay, 15 years and a pile of bubble wrap later, I have unearthed the first item. It is folded flat, but you might be able to see what it is from the packaging or through the packaging. I'm not going to keep you in any suspense any longer, so let's just open it up. I'm excited to see it too. Okay. Let's see. Here we go. Here is the first item. This is the Louis Vuitton Cabas Meso, and you might be wondering why I purchased this from Japan, because I already have one. Well, that's true, I do. And I actually recently just did a video on this bag about what can fit inside of it, because it is an excellent travel bag. It is about the same size, a little bit bigger maybe than the Neverfull MM, but it has a zipper at the top, which is very much appreciated. And it is an absolutely beautiful bag, super, super useful. But the one that I took with me to Italy is starting to experience some pretty heavy wear. And I think that was partially because of the wear that it got in Italy from being toted around because the handles were not in the best of shape. 
I plan to repair it myself and make it a little bit of a DIY project, but in the meantime, I really wanted another Kabas Meso just to have because it's such a good bag, I don't mind buying multiples. And the thing is, when I said before that you can buy things for really good deals, I meant it. This bag was on auction. I was the only person that bid for the auction. I did find it through searching myself, and I'll leave some Japanese search terms in the description box down below for you, as well as linked to the video I made about how to use Baiyi. I got this after everything for $270. That was the entire cost of this bag. So $270 for this Kamas Meso, and it's in beautiful shape. This is one of the things I looked for. I wanted to make sure that it was in really good nick and that the handles were good. Uh, and there, basically, basically nowhere. Like, look at the handles. They're in good shape. It's a good color. The bottom is pretty nice. It's got some spots and it's got some wear, but it's not. And the corners aren't damaged at all. It. I'm really excited. I'm really happy with this bag. This looks like it's in great shape. Let's just see the zipper. It's nice and smooth clean inside. I don't remember what year this one was made. 2002. So it's a little bit old, younger than the one that I currently have. And oh gosh, I'm so happy. I'm going to be able to clean this up and I'm so excited to use this. This is great. This is such a good travel bag. I really do recommend the Meso. I'll link some places that you can buy the Meso in America, but I do recommend searching on Baiyi to see what you can find because there are some really good stuff out there for really good deals. I do plan to clean this up. I have a video that I made about how to clean Louis Vuitton canvas and Louis Vuitton Bichetta, which I will also link for you because if you're buying stuff pre-lived, you want to be able to clean it up so it's clean for your use, obviously. And I do make sure that I clean all of my pre-lived purchases when I do buy them. So I'll link that video for you as well if you're interested in how to like clean slash rehab Louis Vuitton canvas and Bichetta. And yeah, so that's, that's so exciting. Bag number one, and I couldn't be more pleased with this. Awesome. Okay, bag number two. Now, I told you that I had purchased two items and I had been looking for the Louis Vuitton Cabas Meso to start with. That's what I was searching for. I was looking for the Cabas Meso and in my search, I also happened upon totes from other brands. Sometimes that happens in your search. You kind of click and you find like, were you also looking for this in, in the search term? And so that's what happened here. And I found completely by accident, like completely by accident, this bag that I have been looking at for months. And I'm gonna just show it to you now and then I will talk more about it because we wanna to get to the point, don't we? We wanna to get to the point of the unboxings. So this bag was wrapped in bubble wrap and then it was wrapped in brown tissue paper, which is really nice. So let's take, my cat is gonna have a field day. She loves pouncing on tissue paper. So let's take it up here. Oh, and it came in a dust bag. Oh, I didn't even know that it came with a dust bag. That's really cool. And here is the dust bag. Salvatore Ferragamo, I'm so excited. I don't know if you're gonna be able to guess what bag this is, but I've tried this on before on my Instagram and I'm gonna just show you because I wanna see it too. Oh my gosh, yay, okay. Oh wow, the leather's in great shape and there's no wear on the bottom. This was listed as basically like excellent to new condition and um, it looks like it. There's a couple of scratches on the leather tab but it's clean inside, comes with the pouch. Okay, I'm gonna, let, let's show you the bag. Let's show you the bag. I can marvel at it as I show it to you. So this is the Salvatore Ferragamo Giancini Toad. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is a slightly older style. This is the postmark edition, the, the stamps one. And they do different versions of this particular tote every year. It's in nylon with leather accents. So this is leather and this is a nylon material. And then the pouch inside is also leather. And the pouch itself is really cute. It's like a little leather with a postage stamp and everything. And I think that's so cute. It's in this brown leather and it is detachable from the bag, which is really nice. Zipper on the pouch is nice and it's completely clean inside. Yeah, the zipper is a little bit sticky, but it's, yeah, I could easily fix that with some wax paper. So yes, yeah, so okay, so they do this particular bag in different patterns every season. They currently have this really fun one that's like bright pinks, and then I did try that one on in store. I think it's got black accents to it. 
It's fun, it's fun, but I, I really like this one from the past season. The thing about these totes is that they currently retail for $11.50. When I was started to get interested in them, they were retailing for a lot less. And for $11.50, I couldn't justify getting kind of another tote because I already have my kibas mezzo and my kibas piano, which I really, really like. But I have been wanting a tote that still does have a closure on the top. It's not a zipper, but it's something, it's something. I still wanted a tote that I could use for every day that just didn't have the LV monogram. Now this obviously is very brightly colored, but it doesn't scream designer if you don't know what Salvatore Ferragamo like looks like. And so I thought that this could be a fun, less Louis Vuitton, even if not quite subdued bag. And I've been looking at it and trying it on uh, before. I, I think I just, I think I said that I'm, I'm really excited. It's super nice. And it's also kind of like a nice smaller size, but it fits on the shoulder really well. Yeah, so that fits on the shoulder really well. You can't, it doesn't pass the elbow test, but it fits nicely. And because it is less structured, it'll be able to fit a little bit more than maybe my Cabas piano. And really quick, let's compare it to the Cabas mezzo here. So this is the mezzo. And you can see that it's a little smaller because it doesn't have as much depth to this. This is like just a bigger, much more structured bag, but still much bigger. And yeah, I, I'm i so excited. This is so nice. Um, prices, prices. Okay. So the Meso was, I believe I said like 270, something like that, 270. This was 285. And I also purchased another thing that I'm not going to show on camera because it's a present for a friend who probably will be watching this video before I'm able to give it to them. But altogether between the two totes and the present for my friend, I paid $596 plus the shipping, which was about 90. So I paid about $700 for both of these, plus a surprise gift that was about 60 something. So each of these were under 300 and then basically like $40 shipping for each. So like 350 for each is essentially what I paid for both of these bags. 350 for this is fantastic. 350 for this is excellent. Like this is an beautiful condition, beautiful shape, and I see these on the pre-love market for nothing less than 600 and obviously new, they're 1150 Gosh, the leather is in such good shape. It's not even like, it's not even that floppy. It's still stiff because it hasn't really been used. This is so pretty. It's got the little detail of the buckle on the front there. And these are some of the, the designs of the stamps. This is gonna be a great bag for like harder weather too. It's, it's nylon. This is awesome. And it's, yeah, let me show you the inside. Cause it's just, it's just an open hole with a little stamp, but it's completely clean inside. And there's the Ferragamo logo there. This is a great unboxing. I'm very, very, very pleased. I'm looking forward to cleaning this up and putting it to good use. I'm looking forward to using this as well because I think this is gonna be a fun like kind of daily tote bag for when I don't want to use my piano, especially when I need like a little bit more space than my piano does because this is sort of open and more malleable. Okay, this is great. This was so, so nice. And it came with the dust bag too, which I didn't know that it did actually. I don't believe that was mentioned in the listing, but not complaining. So that was a pretty quick, but really fun unboxing. I'm really excited for both of my purchases as probably you can tell. The thing too about adding both of these bags to my collection is that I'm not really adding this one to my collection because it's already part of my collection. I'm kind of replacing one that I already have that's damaged. So I'm basically switching out my damaged kibas meso for this much better condition kibas meso and I'm pretty happy with that. And this bag kind of fills a spot that I've been meaning to fill for a while, which is another tote that isn't a Louis Vuitton that is made of a very durable material that I can kind of just like wear on the daily when I need to carry a lot of stuff with me. So I think that both of these were really good purchases. And like I said, for under 350 each, because I'm rounding up, neither was 350 even including shipping, I think that those are really good buys. Thank you again to Baiyi for sponsoring a portion of this video. I will link to Baiyi down below as well. And if you sign up with my link, you get some money off your first purchase and I'll put all those details down below as well. I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing video. Please tell me what you think of my purchases. And if there's anything that you're interested in finding on Baiyi, please do share with me because I'd love to know. I really enjoy looking at pre-love luxury because as I said, you can find some really cool things at some really good deals. Not to mention, hey, sustainability, you get to recycle something and give it new life. Once again, I hope that you enjoyed. If you did like this video, please do give it a like. It's super duper helpful helps the algorithm and subscribe for more content that helps the algorithm even more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.